It's Bourbonite. Welcome to Selection Sunday. How are you? <laughs> How is everyone? Hi. Good to see you. Good to see everyone the here. The last Sunday of dry January. That's right. Yeah. Tomorrow's we're, the last day. We're almost done with this. I have my dry January tea. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. So. Ah, let me s settle in here. We're... Yeah, get settled in, Chad. Running around there at the last minute. Too you know much how it to goes. do. Yeah. You know Too many projects over the weekend. <clears throat> Ran out yeah. of time. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Too much rushing. <laughs> it's okay. You're here now. We're here. And we're glad you're here too. Uh, so I know there's some football going on. We had some people say, you know, I'm going to have to either come in late or watch the replay because there's, mm. there's football. Yes, and it's apparently important football. <laughs> you got you got the Bourbon Bowl uh, selection right here, so I feel like this should quinch that thirst, maybe? Well, I don't maybe know. Not. There's no maybe not. sports aspect other than the drafting, which isn't really, I mean, you know, it's like the least action-filled thing. It's good enough for some of you all. For some of you. Who are here in the chat, so. So here's how it's going to go down. How's it going to? We picked 30 bourbons, and they all are all bourbons. Well, there's some finished whiskeys in there, but there's no rise anyway. And we're going to flip a coin to mm -hmm. see who gets to choose first. And then it's going to be what's called snake, right? Right. Snake Where, draft. So if you win the coin flip, you'll choose, then I'll choose, then I'll choose, then you'll choose, right. then you'll choose, then I choose. And so. Chad, why did we decide to do it this way? Um, Is it because every time you win the coin flip, you win that year? No. Hmm. No. No. I mean, statistically, yes, I have, but that has nothing to do with it. Oh, it has nothing. Coin flip. The cor correlation and causation. There's no connection there. No. Oh, okay. No. Well, I. None. This is our. This will be our fourth annual Bourbon Bowl. Chad has won two years. I have won one year. So if I lose this year, it's going to be pretty disappointing for me. But normally we do this selection part off camera. Mm -hmm. We normally just like sit around and you know he'll usually goes first, picks a bottle, and then I'm like, great, what am I going to pick now based on that choice? That's what I was going to choose. But here's the thing. you don't. It doesn't have to be reactive. Instead of, because we're not the ones, If just to remind you all of how this works, we're yes. not the ones who put the bourbons up against each other. That is the job of our referee slash, I think in, in some ways you can also call them sort of a coach mm. because they're also sort of making sure it's equal and it's good matchups. Sure. Um, for uh, two of the three years, it's been Perry. He's coming back for Bourbon Ball Four. Todd Cooper last year was Todd Cooper. Yeah, because Perry wasn't available, so uh, Todd Cooper came down and he was the referee slash coach. So what I'm getting at is, you don't have to choose reactively on what the first person chose. You can be like, okay, they pick that. I'm gonna pick this powerhouse, and then they're either they can react to that or they can pick because what we pick in a round don't necessarily okay but it's also other. like picking teams in kickball like if you take all this i mean well if it's i feel like this is bringing back horrible memories if you have one ringer out of the bunch then yeah and you gets take to it choose. but then now i gotta choose strategically based on what no I, that's what i'm just saying you don't have to no i it is about strategy mm, because if i skip over be. the heavy hitters and you get them all no but that's what i'm saying like uh, okay, out of thirty, you're in in your argument. Hold on, kids. Mom and dad. Mom and dad are hashing this out. Uh, <laughs> he's trying to in, cheat. Is what in, he's doing. In your in with your theory of these thirty, there's only one good one. No, and if I pick it, that that's is not game what over. I said. Well, basically, but if there are guaranteed, like we know for a fact, we're gonna pick this one. Lights out. Like it wins every time. It's a tried and true. But we don't. That doesn't always happen. It We've seen that in the past because it's blind. I guess we'll see what happens. And we don't know who picked right. what. We don't know which one we're we voting for. We can sit for. here and argue all day. <laughs> I call it spirited debate. But just let's let it be noted <laughs> that I said that if Chad wins the coin flip, he's going to win the Bourbon Bowl because wow. he will pick. He will get wow. the first opportunity to get that one. I don't think it's going to be this like nail list in the of thirty that we have. There's not one that's like head and shoulders above the one. To Chad, pick. how did we get this list of thirty? Okay. Well, hold on. Let's get caught up here on our first Super Chat of the evening. It's from The Bourbon Barrel. Uh, congrats on dry January. A most impressive feat. Now that you're coming back to the dark liquor side, uh, what are your thoughts on Doc Swenson's? Mm. We've had some Doc Swenson's on, have we? on the live before. Yeah. On the live. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Um, 
How, I, don't I don't remember a whole whole lot about it. I remember liking it. Uh, I have no it, memories, obviously. Yeah, it being pretty solid, but not, also not something that just like completely like stood out head and shoulders. Took me, above. yeah, it took me by surprise. Or didn't take your breath away. Didn't take my didn't take my breath away. <laughs> no, I, just, I was like he's gonna sing. Okay. All right. So we have this list of thirty, and I'm sure you're probably asking, why are you limiting it to thirty? How did you get this list? It's not necessarily a limit to thirty. We tried to agree upon 30, or not even agree. We tried to just brainstorm 30 different options that we could imagine ourselves going for. Mm -hmm. Cause like I said, normally we do this part off camera when we're just like sitting on the couch and then one of us can go in the other room, look at the bottles or go to the basement or whatever and browse yeah. and pick one and come back and say, this is my pick. Right. That doesn't make for a good live show. So we are like, we <laughs> need, you know, we need to know we can't be running all around. So we were like, okay, let's... Oh, look, you already have a team to Sarah. Uh, I'm not surprised. <laughs> he has good taste. Leave him alone. Um, so yeah, we, we were like, all right, let's make this easier on ourselves. We also need to get this done within an hour. Um, aside from all this blabbing right now. <laughs> uh, so yeah, we, we tried to come up, summarize 30 that we thought would be a good pool for us to choose from. Now that doesn't mean you can't call an audible and pick something off the list if something just like... You have that aha moment, like, how did I forget to put this on the list? It, right. Everything's fair game. <laughs> Dumb question. Are they married? <laughs> yeah. As you can tell from the beginning the of this live. From the bickering? Mm. I don't know if you could tell. <laughs> Woman, let me explain this one more time. It, it's not the coin flip. It um, is the coin flip. Uh, we'll see. Yeah. So uh, also we have a few... Uh, what are we themed categories? And again, mm -hmm. this is up to uh, Perry, our referee and coach. To you know, so like for example, one of the themes is um, where do we have those written down? Right oh there. yeah, MVP, meaning you know maybe those it's, ones I was talking about earlier just knock it out of the park. Right. Okay. Bad example. Around a hundred proof. Mm -hmm. So we have of these thirty, we have a few that could be picked for that around 100 proof. Um, so those will be going up against each other, but we won't know until afterwards what the round was. So he's not gonna be like, okay, this is the round that's around 100 proof. It just yeah. helps him when we're doing these blind head to heads, it helps Perry- To make sure that they're- Make sure that they're on, you aligned. know- Yeah, playing the same position, exactly. if you will, yeah, right? right? Right, right, right. And in order to make sure that we don't know what each round is when we're doing, to make it more fair for the Bourbon Bowl, we will pick more, we will draft more bottles than that will actually be in play. Now, if you, for those of you who watched last year, <laughs> <laughs> last year we were like, there's nine players on the field. We should pick nine bottles. Is there nine players on the field? I just said that. Is that true? <laughs> I think we Googled it, but now I can't remember. I'm not actually sure. Um, no, it's 10. 12? What? Is that wrong? Oh, Sarah. Isn't that what you said? That's mm -mm. what you said. I didn't say that. That is literally what you said this afternoon. No, no. I, I said, said, why did we have I said nine? Six points for a touchdown. We're going with six rounds <laughs> this time. There's 11. Can you tell that I watch sports? <laughs> yeah. I don't know why we had nine. Why do you, to be you told me earlier you. you said we picked nine for this very specific reason, and I swear that it was because of that. Don't you try to blame it on me. I did no. not make this up. No. Okay. Anyways, yes. So oh, this year geez. we're doing five rounds plus a tiebreaker, which would be the, the sixth. Six points, six rounds. Uh, because last year, as you were alluding to, things got a little loopy. We went for two hours, which yeah. is way too long. Um, and yeah. that's also too many bourbons i think that you can drink and be like by the eighth one it was like am i even tasting anything yeah it, right? was, it was i know rough. everyone's making fun of me <laughs> it's okay because we got john wadsworth making fun of me even though i didn't have bumpers yes john Point flip get him. Equal, equals gutter bumpers i someone put gutter bumpers up Chad. on my lane for me. i keep clicking it but uh, that ball never touched a bumper you were there you know Thank you, John. <laughs> I love everybody. In Santiago, DC. There's said, nine on a baseball team. Okay, thanks, Scott Pigsley. <laughs> Maybe that's what you got. Sports. <laughs> uh, okay, I have to know if there was a decision on your first sip of February. Oh. Um, not officially, though. I think we're... Yes. Was there officially? We're going to do our Patreon-only um, live stream tomorrow night where we oh, yeah. do the Open the Knob Creek. That's what I, that's what I was thinking, yeah. that we had 
said it would probably be our, our new Knob Creek. Our new Knob Creek uh, Three pick. Amigos pick. Yeah. Also, John. John. <laughs> mm-hmm. John helped out on that one. Uh, he's one of the three amigos on that pick. All right. So I feel like, I, I feel like you guys will, maybe you have questions. Maybe you don't. I don't well, know. Well, let me just show you this right here. And I actually found out that, uh, I left four out of that picture because they're in a different part of the room. So I forgot about it afterwards, but I also broke these out by row. So like literally five minutes before the live, I went and took a picture of the four that were missing and it's, it's on here. So we'll go row by row to kind of let you guys know. And then also down in the description, there's a list. Um, so you can look at that. Uh, I was going to copy and paste into the chat, but you can only do 200 characters and it's way more than that. So mm. round or sorry, row, row one. This is what we're looking at here. Uh, we got the Christine Riggleman reserve. That's like 108 proof. That is one of the bookers. I can't tell if, if that's... We put Sip a Wild and Kitchen Table. Yeah, so that's either Sip a Wild or Kitchen Table. They're both like 128. Uh, one's 120.1. Uh, that's Stag Junior Batch 14. That's 130.2 proof. We got a, a Baker's Single Barrel. That's 107. We got the Peerless uh, Double Oak Bourbon. That's 107.1. We got a Pappy 15 at 107. That is one of our four gates. We have Kelvin Collaboration 2 and 3 in here. One of them's around 123.7, the other one's 126.4. Uh, that is Chattanooga, Chattanooga Whiskey Bourbon Cask at 111, and that's a John J. Bowman single barrel, which is 100 proof. Mm. Rolling into row two. Uh, that is, I think that's Sip a while. Yeah, that's yeah. the other book. 2017.04. Uh, that... Larceny Barrel Proof C921. Correct. Uh, this is a Jack Daniels barrel proof that was uh, gifted to us pretty recently. 133.2 proof. Thank you to those six who uh, went in on that. The infamous Blanton's La Maison du Whiskey. Yes. That is our OGD 1983 National Distillers 114 proof. We did have to migrate the actual bourbon out of the bottle yeah, because so an empty it bottle. <laughs> was not doing well in the bottle. So we had to halt what yeah. was going on. Halt it. Uh, and then a McKenna, I forget what, what year is that McKenna? That's a 94. 94 McKenna. Yeah. That's the other four gate Kelvin. I don't know if that's two or three. The next one there, Sarah, this is a really interesting one. The Blackback Alpha Series yeah. at 121.8 proof. Yes. That is also um, like of the Silverback Distillery. So the Christine Riggleman Reserve, mm -hmm. also from the same distillery. Yeah. We like to see those. 121.8 proof. We wanted to put the Remus in here, the Remus Repeal Batch 5, <laughs> because everybody is over the moon about it. It was included in our best of the year. It did not, you know, top the charts or anything, but mm -hmm. I would be interested to see if we one of us picks it. But one of us will have to pick it for it to be. A, right, for it to be. Yeah, you know. so I don't know if that's going to happen, know. honestly. <laughs> Uh, row three. Okay, so we have uh, Barsham Bourbon Company, Le Chateau, uh, Chateau, Chateau de la Bade. Bade. Thank you. Uh, Weller 107, obviously. It's pretty classic. A Boone County 12-year. Mm -hmm. Let's see. What is that proof? I don't know. Uh, the top of my it's up here. It's a, One, so That's a 12-year. It's a 1833. It's a 12-year. 115.64 proof. Mm -hmm. That uh, is the maker's FAE02. You're just is... going to skip right over that Four Roses limited edition small batch? Oh, yeah. 2021? <laughs> I won't tell you how it did in the best of last year. 114.2 proof. Uh, next to it's the maker's FAE02, which is... Around 107, 109, right? 109.1. 109. So if you can't tell, we're reading off a sheet. Uh, Elijah Craig barrel proof. That one is the C917 at 131 proof. And... We also have the Bardstown Bourbon Company um, Triple Blended Stay finish. finish. Yeah, yeah. That one has 109. Yes. Now, the four that I forgot to bring into the room and, and include, <laughs> uh, we're doing uh, two of the Bardstown collection. So we're, we're doing the Bardstown Bourbon Company. Oh, snap. One, which is looking, 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 looking. Where did they go? There they are. It doesn't say. Oh. Well, I put it... It's in the 120s. Yeah. Uh, it's around 120 proof. Yeah. It is. I can tell you. Uh, 122.7. And then the Jim Beam is a 15-year. It's 109 proof. Mm -hmm. And then we're looking at a couple of our Nulu picks. Uh, From last year. Yeah, we have Casablanca, which is a toasted bourbon. That is 114.6. 
And then we got Nulu Noir, A Dame to Drink For, which is 119.2. Whoa. Where did the windows go? There we go. There we go. <laughs> and we're back. So. Yeah. For example, though, it feels like, say you were to draft the Nulu um, Casca Blanca, which is a toasted barrel Nulu. It seems like I would have to respond with, or do I? Would I pick something of the same proof? Would I pick another wood finished option like the Bardstown um, Triple Blended Stave or the Maker's FAE 02? I don't know. It just, it just depends. So that's the thing. I think in the past we've always sort of tit for tat, right? Mm. Like you pick this, you sort of go with an answer. Um, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna overpick. I yeah. think we're gonna pick like 10 each. Mm -hmm and then give those my 10 and your 10 to Perry and he can and pick then he'll pick the ones the six that are going to become the five and the the sixth round for if we have a tiebreaker needed yeah so i don't know i don't, I know. don't know either and if you couldn't tell these are like all-star picks this is you know anything from any time it's not just from last year right um so yeah. we tried to do a little a little bit of this, a little bit of that. A little, this, a little bit of that. Yeah. yeah. I feel like we should get started. Let's get started. Let's uh, catch up on our Super Chats first. We got James Wolverton. James Wolverton. Who day bingles to the Super Bowl? Yeah, my mom. Pam literally texted me earlier. She was so excited. <laughs> yeah. I was like, there's nine players. <laughs> nine, nine, nine players. There's just there's just nine players. I heard the, the Cleveland Browns are going. Is that right? No. No. <laughs> I know that okay. about sports. <laughs> There you go. Sorry. Uh, yeah. So now we're, we're, we're caught up. We are so, caught up. I'm like, I need to keep this pen away from me because I keep clicking it. Here is our coin. The mm. uh, It's Bourbonite logo is heads. The five-year anniversary is tails. These are available at whiskeyambitions.com along with this shirt and this hat. Whiskeyambitions.com. Mm. Oh, my gosh. Um, so, Sarah, I want you to call it heads or tails while it's in the air. Okay. Ready? Yes. Heads. No! It is tails. It is tails. Oh, but this is the first year that we've done the snake draft, so I do think yeah. this is more fair. There you go. So, um, let me know, guys. You have the list down in the description of this video, and we've just gone through it. What do you think? I want to hear from you You want you guys. them to pick it for you? I want to hear their thoughts. Mm. You can let me know. First. Ooh. Hmm. Ooh. There's so many ways I could go. See, I feel like I gotta get the best one off the table first. Is there a best one? I don't know. Hmm. I don't know. And and kind of what we did do is we didn't try to load it heavy heavily with the 2021 top ones. You yeah, know, we didn't want to do all that. We, we do have the Four Roses in here, but we didn't put like that release of Stag or that release of Elijah Craig mm -hmm. in here or that, well, we did Larceny. We did with the Larceny. Uh, but we didn't try to load it all. But that was the best one that we've had that year. of all the Larcenies, I think. Yeah, because we've had more recent experience with them. We want sure. to see more things out there. Oh, we got a Casablanca as Ooh. a... Um, Michael says the Chateau. The Chateau de, de la Bad. Kyle okay. says the OGD. OGD, yeah. The Steve thing... says it's a trick coin, and I believe him. Come on. <laughs> the La Maison du Whiskey, Blanton's. Ah, I don't know. All right, well, it's 820. You there is no, there is no William Leroy Weller in here. There is no William Leroy Weller. We yeah. put it in last year, I think. Um, and I just feel like it's something that we talk about all the time. Yeah. Um, it's... It doesn't need any more. <laughs> I don't you know what? Attention. In the first round, Chad picks the 2021 for Rose's Ellie. I knew that that's what you were going to do. Well, you know. How to respond. How to respond. Mm -hmm. I see a couple of votes in there. I think I'm going to go... Now, does she, does she do reactive, you think? Or does she no. just try to get... Up another powerhouse yeah. in there. Um, Let us know, folks. Mm, I Lock have in a, your votes now. I think I've always tried to be responsive to you, and I think I'm going to go completely off See? and do whatever yeah. I want this year because I've proven in the past that being responsive to whatever you do has never worked for me. Well, it worked for you. Last year, you won. Last year, I won, but I think last year I won the coin toss. Did mm. I? I think so. I don't know. I don't remember. <laughs> um, okay. I... 
I'm very tempted to pick. Uh, oh, Koopa's saying four gate. Yeah, that did. I'm mm, very tempted. Is, yeah. Um, by that, but oh, do I make this call? I feel like I gotta make this call. I almost think you... I'm gonna I'm gonna okay. swipe that OGD 114. Oh, okay. Sarah goes OGD 1983 National Sillers uh, 114 proof. Okay. All right, that's round one. Um, now, honestly, Sarah, you get to go next because it's the snake. Mm -hmm. I know what I'm gonna pick. I think you have the advantage because yes, maybe I got to arguably get the the big guy, but you get two. Of its like captains. Yeah, but know? then you get two more right after that. I know, but you're taking two where I just got the one big guy. You're taking two big guys right off the bat of the like the top three. I thought you said of that, the there, top three, that these were all big guys. You get two. And this is not what you said before that there was no one or two or three that were the very best of all of them. That these were all great. Isn't that what you said? Hypothetical, Sarah. Isn't that what you said? Hypothetical. Okay, well for my for my next act, <laughs> <laughs> for my I next I am gonna take that four ro or four roses four gate. Kelvin two. Oh, that's a good choice, Sarah, because that was our number two uh, best of 2020. of 2020. It was actually our number one finished whiskey of 2020. I see my people in the chat helping me out. Wow. Okay. Sarah. Mm-hmm. Should we, should we, I don't know. Do you need to look at your pictures? Will that help? <laughs> I have a list here. So this guy's gone. That's not going to help. Um, There's too much going on on that piece yeah, of paper. Okay. <laughs> and this guy's gone. Hmm. What's my next move? I'm not even going to think about what you're doing. I'm going to think about my next move. Uh, uh, okay. Chad said, is it too late to switch to Team Sarah? It's never too late. We won't call you a Fairweather fan. Come on, guys. <laughs> Stick with your boy. Your boy. You've won enough. They want to see it be tied this year, so when we go into the fifth annual Bourbon Bowl, it'll be... Ooh, Bourbon Bowl 5? Bourbon Bowl 5. That's going to be epic. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. Oh, think of the ratings. Think, think what we can charge for ratings. a 30-second spot. <laughs> Stop. Um, $100. <laughs> <laughs> we're booking Janet Jackson to have a, mm -hmm. a wardrobe malfunction. Oh, we're geez. bringing that back. Um, I am going to go off on a on a bit of a limb here. But you got to risk it to get the biscuit, okay? Is that what they say? That's what they say. For my second pick, mm -hmm. Team Chad chooses the Bardstown Bourbon Company Bardstown Collection. Whoa. Mm-hmm. After only having barely it touched your tongue. That's saying something. I want it. Wow. I okay. Want it. I want it. He wants it. Yep. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. See, the thing is, I kind of, I want, I'm debating about the Chateau de la Bob because. Are you? I want it. Because it's still my But pick. what does it, <laughs> I know. But what do you put it against? I mean, triple stave. True. Bardstown v. Bardstown. Mm hmm. Hmm. Because there's no other, like, finished, I don't think. The Kelvins the... are finished. That's true. You could put it against the Forgate. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, that's a good point. Uh. I don't know. It's on my uh, short list. I'm thinking about it. Man. Okay. Um, I always think historically this next pick has done well. Mm -hmm. So, well, I got to think. Okay, hold on. No, hold on. Pause. Back up. Back up. Got to think a long game. Got to think you, you need to load up with, you know, you're finished. And, you know, you, gotta, you can't just go all heavy hitters. I mean, don't pick a kicker right now. <laughs> that, I know fantasy special, football. I'm gonna get special teams now. I'm gonna I'm gonna choose a kicker. Um, so because of that, I th and this is a little reactive. Mm -hmm. I think I gotta take the Chateau de Labade. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I think that's fair. So two Barstow Bourbon companies in a row. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Somebody call Barstow and tell them. <laughs> tell them they got a super fan. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> Okay. Okay, so now I get to pick two. Whew, how are you guys feeling about that? What do you think about my choices? Let me First hear. things first. Let me hear. First things first. What's funny is that we're going to end up with everything in this is going to be over 110 proof. 
Is anyone surprised? <laughs> I don't think so. No. I mean, I feel like I got to take the Stag Jr. Like, I feel like that's kind of a no-brainer. Um, so I'm going to take that. To be honest my... with you, Sarah, that's what I was going to pick before I did that reactive mm, Labad pick. Yeah. I feel like that's the move. And then... Erg. Hmm. What do I want next? Let us know, folks. Stag Jr. should have gone for first round, Nick says. I I thought... I knew that he was probably going to pick that Four Roses first. So... I mean, with the OGD114, we did the best thing we've ever tasted, like, video on that. So I was like, I gotta pick that. But it hasn't been the same since it's, you know... We, we put it in into a, f a few smaller bottles, mm -hmm. but... Since that uncorking, it hasn't quite been the same. Yeah, yeah. What do I want to go with next? Let's see what we got here in the... I'm debating between... We got a JD Barrel Proof. I hate throwing the, my thoughts out there for Chad to, like, <laughs> listen in on. We got a Peerless. You can't go wrong with an Elijah Craig Barrel Proof, right? But I feel like Elijah Craig Barrel Proof and Stag are very much same level sorry if that offends you but I, that's how i feel so because i have the stag i don't know that i need the elijah craig barrel proof i'm thinking i need i do like the idea of the russell's 13 because it seems like anytime it's blind we rank it higher than we thought we would rank it mm -hmm. um it's kind of like a surprise little curveball yeah oh uh, one one second sarah okay uh please show the lineup ag again um wayne it's actually probably easier just look down in the description of this live, and they're all they're all listed they're there. They're all listed. Yeah. Very smart. Mm, I could do the Blanton's Le Maison de Whiskey, because that's always delicious. But I know Chad really loves our new loot, A Dame to Drink For, so there's that. I'm surprised we didn't put a Mash Made in Heaven back in here. I know, it's just... it's. What do you guys think? What should I do? Uh, I've, I've a seen of, a few Russells. A lot of Peerless, some Russells. <sighs> Uh, Jack Daniels. Mm, I feel like I'm still loading up on my like heavy hitters right now. I think, uh, I think I'm gonna go with the Russells. What do you guys think? Is that is that a bad move? Okay. Mm, I'm not sure, but I also really want the plans. It did show up last year. I know. <laughs> what do you guys think? Blanton's Le Maison du Whiskey. At 120 proof, so basically, I mean, it's a, basically a pick of um, straight from the barrel, but it's super delicious. Um, for or the Russells 13, I, I can't decide. James says the Russells. I saw that. Joseph said the Russells. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, look, a little poll. I'm just watching Chad put the poll up. <laughs> there, you guys can vote. Vote now. Lock in your votes. Let us know. Did well, it work? Fun. I don't know. Can you see it? Did it work, guys? I don't Tell see us. It. Can you see the poll? There it is. Oh, we can watch it. Uh, I'm seeing a lot of Russells. I'm feeling like that's where I'm gonna go. Oh, 75% Russells right now. Okay. I think. Uh... But if the Blanton's is still there i'm probably gonna take it but if you take it then that's fine i want to know who lost weight that someone someone lost some weight is it you truth because uh, i don't, <laughs> I don't think it's me <laughs> <laughs> i mean i hope it's me when you don't drink for a month i mean a couple pounds are bound to fall off but all right i'm calling it i'm going with the wrestles okay indian pole ended at 63 percent sweet we like oh, that. There it goes, yeah. How fun. 75 Sweet. votes. So Sweet. cool. It's way better than just asking a question. Who do you like better, Chad or Sarah? No, I would never ask that. I would, <laughs> they would, I would get destroyed. Why do you want to create arguments in this household? So I can become bitter. He wants to be bitter. Um. All right, now it's you. You Russell's. get two more. Okay. I'm upset that you took stag because that's what I was going to take. Yeah. So... I think a lot of times the next best thing or sometimes the better thing is Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. Mm -hmm. C917, 
at 131 proof was a great year. Haven't had it in a minute, but I remember it really being one of our mm. one of our faves. It was very good. So for round four, Chad chooses Elijah Craig Barrel Proof C917. That's a good one. I, I think that's solid. Now for my fifth pick, I don't know. So let me know. <laughs> let me know, guys. Well, are there any that you're debating? What do you You've got two Bardstowns, the Four Roses Ellie from last year, and you've got the Elijah Craig Barrel Proof from mm -hmm. C917. I also need to think about these three categories right. that we have. Well, which, I think we've got covered the MVP. I think we've covered the, yeah, a lot of these could be slotted in that MVP. We need something around 100, and then a non-Kentucky non round. is a round as well. Um, but it's almost like, I feel like those are going to be ended up saved towards the last because mm. we don't want to, one of us start one of those, and then the other one not react and, and pick something. Yeah. So we should probably go ahead and get those out of the way. No, I don't trust us. <laughs> I feel like we put those towards the end. You think so? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Unless we agree that we'll both... Like, because we only have two, so you're... Yeah. Oh, well, you'll have to finish up this round um, with your pick, and then I'll do my two, and then the next round you have to do your two. Is that okay? We'll do that, yeah. Okay. You've got a lot of people all over the board here. we got Jack Daniels Ooh. Barrel Proof, uh, McKenna, the Vintage McKenna... Uh, Pappy 15, Cascablanca. Um, Man, yeah. So right now I have the OGD 114 from 1983, the Fourgate Kelvin uh, Series 2, Stag Jr. 14, uh, and the Russell's 13 year. Yeah, I've got the Four Roses 2021 uh, Small Batch LE, Barstown Bourbon Company Barstown Collection, uh, Barstown Bourbon Company Chateau de la Bud. And the Elijah Craig Barrel Proof C917. Yeah. So, all barrel proofs. Yeah, but are we surprised? Not surprised. And that's why we cut it down in... <laughs> well, two of mine are 114 proof. Yeah. Um, the Russell's and the OGD. Well, But my the... Stag is 130, and my Fourgate Kelvin uh, 2 is 126. 126 so. My Four Roses is 114, you know. Some people are saying the other Fourgate. I'm seeing hmm. several votes for the Blantons. See, I feel like the Fourgate um, is going to go up against... The Fourgate. Um, you my, have... My Chateau de la Bad is going to go up against the Fourgate. Right. If so do you need another get finish? chosen, one? Yeah. that is. Ha! I'm a little bitter on the Le Maison de Whiskey only because I took that to its Bourbon Barn Night mm -hmm. at Whiskey Weekend, and well, it was it was low in there, mm -hmm. and I think that hurt it, but it did not do well. Yeah, okay. So I'm a little... A little salty? A little salty. That? I mean, it's delicious, don't get me wrong, but yeah. it did okay. not do well. Um, so I'm going to go several votes for Pappy 15 also. Another Maverick. I'm going Maverick this year, folks. So if I don't win, completely my fault. I went Maverick. Blackback Alpha Series 121.8. Whoa, okay. And I think after this round, we should bring in some bottles and show some people. Is got... this going to be for your out of state? Or you're just it picking can it? Be. It can be. I thought we just said we were going to save that for the next round. But it doesn't have to be. Okay. That's not why I'm, I'm picking it. <clears throat> All right. So what do, what counts for around 100 proof? We said anything from 92 proof up to 108. How much of a jerk would I be if I also took the vin vintage McKenna? <laughs> I don't think we would have a... Well, we don't have a vintage round, it, so we don't have to do that. It doesn't have to be a vintage yeah. round. It could just go up against something that you have that's close to 114. You could do that. I could do that. Yeah. Is that too mean? Uh, Would you put these two up against each other, though? Would you put the vintage OGD at 114 proof up against... A 100 proof McKenna? A 100 proof McKenna. I wouldn't. So then why does it matter if you have it or not? Doesn't. So my options for... You said around 108? Yeah, 90, to, 92 to 108 is max. So my options for around 100 proof... So I'm trying to get our categories out of the way right now. We've already covered our MVPs, obviously. Um, around 100 proof and a non-Kentucky pick. So since I'm, it's my turn on the snake draft. Around 100 proof, we've got Peerless Double Oak, which I love. Um, John J. Bowman Single Barrel, Remus Repeal 5. That Vintage McKenna, mm, I might do it. I could be nice and loose for another, the third year. Um, 
The Christine Riggleman Reserve at 108. The Pappy 15 at 107. That's a good choice, too. Um, Weller 107. Baker's at 107. I think I... Mm, I kind of want that McKenna. Okay. I should have brought that in, too. Yeah, I think I want the McKenna. What do you guys think? They say I should take it. I'm going right, to take it. No mercy. No mercy. <laughs> Strike first, Cobra Kai. Yeah. So I'm taking the vintage McKenna because I can. So now I have to pick an out of state. He already took this guy. So, and that's at what proof? It's One. Up there. It's like 121. 128. 128. 128. That's what it says. I think it's 121.8. Mm. So my out of state options are, let's see, something out of state that could match up to that. Hmm. Uh, I mean, Nulu is sourced it's Indiana. from Indiana. Mm -hmm. I know he loves a dame to drink for. Oh my God, it's so good. <laughs> it's so good, you guys. Our pick from last year. It's 119 yeah. proof, so it's close in proof. I like that option. My other options are I like the Chattanooga 111, but I'm worried that there's if those get matched up that that's too much difference. Mm. I got the Jack Dan ooh the Jack Daniels barrel proof. Yeah, that is Tennessee. Mm, not a bad choice. One third. What is that? 133.2 proof. A lot of people are saying the Remus, but at 100 proof, I'm worried that it's not going to stand up yeah, to. I, I like the idea, but I'm concerned yeah. about the proof difference if these get matched up. They might not get matched up, but they might. I don't know. The Christine Riggleman Reserve is 108. While very good, I'm a little concerned about that. About that proof, um, sure. Especially with them being from the same distillery. Yeah. So, I think I'm between OGD. a Dame to Drink for the new loop pick at 119.2 proof and the Jack Daniels barrel proof. Bardstown collection. Can we do another poll? Sure. We can do a poll for you next time. Yeah. Uh, give me some typing room, please. Okay. I, I love how you said that like I put those there. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, All right. What's, I want to drink what's this, this right poll now. about? This poll is um, new Lou, a dame to drink for. versus Jack Daniels Barrel Proof. Tell me what I should do. Lock in your votes. I feel like Jack Daniels Barrel Proof is very divisive and it is, or just Jack Daniels in general, like us pulling that. So it would be- In the a, bourbon bowl? It would mm. be a gamble for me. Um, so I'm not sure what to do. So I've picked my 100 proof. Now I've just got to pick my out of state and then it's back to you. Mm. Yeah. I love this whole <laughs> bottle. I it's know. Got, oops. Got, I love uh, the felt. Felts here. This opens up. It's got the bottled and bond tag there. I'm going to be so sad when it's gone, but like we need, it needs, it's to, been, be. it needs yeah. to be gone. It needs, it to, needs be. to be enjoyed. It does. It does. A couple more seconds here on that poll, guys. Lock in your votes if you want. Lock them in. Hmm. Lock them in. Looks like it's it looks like skewing, Jack's, skewing Jack Daniels. Yeah. Scott says the Jack Daniels is a higher proof. It, it is. is. It is. I'm just concerned because it can be divisive for us. So. I don't remember having one that I haven't liked, though. It's true. Especially if it's blind. Is it a pick? Uh, no, I don't no, I think believe it's just... so. It's just a... Single barrel. All right, it looks like that's what we're going with. Ending the poll. And... I did not see myself picking that today, but I feel like it's the right, yeah. right play okay. here. All right, your turn. It's close. Well, sort of. I think the people who didn't vote for a dame to drink for haven't had a dame to drink for. <laughs> Which is fair, you know. Yeah. I it mean, is really good. Yeah. Um... Okay. Get your 100 proof. So now I need to get my around 100 proof. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. You did this. I know. <laughs> <clears throat> round 100 proof. 
Um, so you've got Peerless Double Oaked. Yep. Um, you've got John J. Bowman Single Barrel. Remus Repeal 5. Mm -hmm. um, nope, I took that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Christine Ringelman Reserve. Pappy 15, which is not a bad choice, I don't yeah. think. Weller 107. Baker's at 107, and that's yeah. about it. Or if there's anything else you can think of to pull off the shelf. Man, oh man, oh man, oh man. Proof. Um, like a today's McKenna. <laughs> <laughs> today's McKenna. I really didn't think I would be choosing. A lot of people are saying Pappy. This one, I kind of put it in as a little, not a flex, but just like, hey, it's on the table. But I think I am going to take the Pappy. I think 15. you should. I think it's the best of those. I mean, not the best of those options, but. You get the proof and you get that age, which a, I think... It's a nice <clears throat> Buffalo Tray sweeter. Yeah. So, sixth round, Pappy 15. Uh, now, is there any... Well, you've already picked an out-of-state one with the blackback, so you if, you... right. if you want that to be your non to go up against my Jack Daniels Bear Proof, then cool. If you want to pick something else, then that's cool, too. Hmm... Um, man, I wish I tried, I wish I was able to try some of these before this to remember. To taste them and remember. Yeah, I kind of remember because I'm thinking about that Boone County 12 year, 1833. It's MGP from what I remember, so it could also count. It's 115.6 mm. proof. Yeah. Um, it was a distillery pick, like sold at the, at the distillery. Those, those 12 year MGP barrel proofs, man, from, this is from like, three if not four years ago so that time frame uh mm. what do you think what do you think folks <sighs> eesh mm, i don't know yeah i don't know I'm looking i'm looking i'm looking yeah they are damn good picks you were right Todd koopa Hmm. A lot of people want to see the Remus, but I don't know. Yeah, I don't just. I feel I think that we were holding on to that one for our round hundred proof. Mm -hmm. Because I feel like the rest of these, again, is anyone surprised? Um, skew high proof. So if you throw yeah. that in there, and it doesn't go up against the hundred proof one, like I feel like it's just at a disadvantage. You know. I mean, yeah, I could I could choose the Remus, which is you know some old juice in there. But it's cut down to 100 proof. And I feel like one 12 year old that's at 115 is going to be better than whatever's in there 12, 13, 14, maybe even older, I can't remember, mm. in the Remus cut to 100. Do you want to poll it? Yeah, let's poll they it. Want I haven't vote. done, a, I I haven't done a poll. You haven't done a poll. I think they want to vote. Hum. Okay. So we got Remus batch. Five, and then we have a 1833 Boone County County 12, 12 year at 115 proof. But you didn't say what the repeal was at. Well, it's 100. 100 proof. Ask the community. All right, lock in your votes, everybody. Dang, getting them thumbs downs today. Racking them up. <laughs> <laughs> Let's combat that with some thumbs yeah. to the upside, please. The thumbs ups must win in the battle between good and evil. <laughs> See, Ray, Ray is saying that Remus is good, but it isn't 1833, 1833. good. Ooh. It's kind of what I'm thinking. Oh, it's close. It is, it's really close. Get them votes in. This is interesting. Yeah. I like this. Has the poll thing always been there? Uh, not always, but it's the first time that we've used it. I in really life. like it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I drink all my tea. I do like having tea while we're doing this. Yeah, I'm drinking. It's lovely on the cold tea, but tea. Yeah, it's nice for talking. All right. I'm going to end this sucker. Oh, it's getting so close, though. All right, a few more seconds. Lock in them boats. I feel like I'm on America's Funniest Home Videos. Lock in your votes. 
Text vote to 83357. Will it be dad gets hit in the crotch with wiffle bat? <laughs> dad gets hit in the crotch falling off the roof. Or dad really gets was. hit in the crotch by a baby. It really was. Lock in your votes. Like it's it definitely going to be someone getting hit in the crotch, though. Oh, I kind of miss those. But I guess that's just like memes and like TikTok now. And There's a there's like a, guy on, Vine. a guy on TikTok. It is 50-50. That does. I'll give it a few more seconds then. Um, that does. He recreates theme shows. Mm -hmm. From he does plays all the instruments. And shortly after Bob Saget died, he did America's Funny Some Videos. And I swear I hadn't heard that theme in so long. Do you remember how it goes? America's Funny Some Videos theme song. Mm, 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 vaguely. Something like stories from coast to coast. Da, 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 da. You might be a star tonight, so let those cameras roll. It's the red, white, and blue. All oh, the funny things you do, America, America, and this is you. I love how you go, it goes something like, and then just <laughs> sang it. It's still at 50 50, so I think you're going to have to make the decision, Chad. It's going to be Crotch Baby. You're going to go with. I'm ending the you're poll. You're going to go with the Boone County, aren't you? <laughs> in, in, in the poll. Yes, rest in peace, Bob Saget. Oh, technically, 50 to 49% with, uh, I guess, 1% margin of error. Yeah. You got to go with the... I'm going with 1833. Okay. Yeah. In Boone County. Boone County. Okay, so I have three spots left to fill. Yeah, this will be your, your seven and eight. And then I'll I feel like to me. this is the point when I kind of want to mix it up a little bit. I've got my heavy hitters. I think I want to do something wood finished. Thank you. So, I believe the Peerless Double Oak ranked higher than the Makers FAE 02 in the best of 2021. Oh, it did. So, I'm feeling like the Peerless Double Oak is a good choice, but the Bardstown Bourbon Company Triple Stave came in fourth yeah i feel like we need to pick some lower proof ones here in the in, in these end well i'm doing it i want to do a wood finished yeah so if hmm. i pick where is that bartstown bourbon company no it's triple stave it's at 109 yeah so the question is that or the double oaked but I think I want to go with that because it ranked higher in our best of last year. Dude. And at 109, it could stand up to the Maker's FAE, which is at 109.1, or the Peerless Double Oaked at 107.1. That's a tough call for me, though. Like, I love both of those, but I think I'm going to go based on how we rank them blind. Uh, yeah. And I'm going to take the Bardstown triple stave. Good call. Good call. Getting a lot of BBC votes there yeah, that's in your what I'm support. Gonna, it hurts me, though, to not pick that Peerless Double Oak, because I really like it so much. I know it. <sighs> I love how we didn't even talk about our new Lucas Casablanca in that. But it's a 114.6 proof. Not bad to choose, you know, to go up against that's a little true. higher proof. That's true. Oh, wow. Big, Whoa, big Kevin! Super chat here. Thank from you Kevin. so much. Yeah. For chat singing. Hey, that's a don't, first. <laughs> Kevin, don't encourage him. <laughs> Thank you, Kevin. That is a first. <laughs> uh, this is actually, Something we don't hear a lot. More Chad singing. Well, I appreciate that <laughs> Hey, a lot. at least they're not asking for me to sing. <laughs> I appreciate you doing this, the vocals. There's actually a game-related question from Scott saying, Perry is the tiebreaker. Correct. Yes. So if we both... So it's like a 3-2-1, we put our hand over the glass that we like the best, and they're blind. Sarah could have the one that she picked, or I could have the one that she picked. We, could, we don't Perry, know. He mixes them up, so we don't know. So if we both put our hand that we... Uh, no, I'm sorry. If we split our hands so, over it, like this. then that gets poured for Perry. And he will choose. And he is the tiebreaker. It's true. Yes. He is our ref. Yes. Okay. So I've chosen the Bardstown Triple Stave. It's been sitting on the table for a long time. You didn't take it. I know you just said choose lower proofs, but I consider 109 a lower proof. It is. I think I'm just going to kick myself if I don't take it. You left it on the table. I'm going to take that Blanton's Le Maison de Whiskey. Oh, that's not what I thought you were going to say. What did you think I was going to say? So you were done with your picks. I thought you were going to do a dame to drink for. Ah, uh, no. Mm -mm, I did not. Yeah. But if I'm trying to combat your... 
you're finished. Well, not you're finished. You're, you're double oaked. Wood finished, yeah. You're wood finished. I could go Nulu, Casca Blanca, or mm -hmm. I could do the Peerless Double Oak. Mm -hmm. Casca Blanca. I don't think we've ever tried those two head to head we, before. No, we haven't. Casca Blanca is. Ooh, is that a drink this for that? Ooh, Ooh the but no. No, because, because that was. What about the Maker's yeah. FAEO 2 versus the Peerless Double Oaked? I'm thinking about how FAE did blind in our best of, and it didn't show up like we were expecting it to. It showed up. Well, it was in the best. 20, you know, I know, I know. Such a small number, right? But Peerless, as you said, Peerless Double Oak did, did rank blind higher. higher. I think it would be interesting to do a drink this or that separate episode with those two and talk about the wood finishing. Yeah. Potentially. I don't know if you guys would want to see that. Uh, Scott Pigsley, the Pappy 15 is not still available. Chad took that as his around 100 proof to combat my... Vintage Henry McKenna from I'll, 1994. I'll remind you all of the seven I've chosen so far. Uh, the Four Roses 2021 Small Batch Limited Edition. Barstown Bourbon Company Bargetown Collection, which is that super, I brought the bottle out, super limited, rare. Yeah, here it is. Oh, just continue to brag. This guy. Oh, it's just super limited It's like rare, super, you, know? you don't even know. It's like super, sorry. How do you guys listen to him? <laughs> Barstown Bourbon Company Chateau de la Bud. Every time. Uh, Elijah Craig Barrel Proof C917, the Blackback Alpha Series, which is this little gem that we got at Justin's House of Bourbon in Louisville. It was so surprised by that guy. Tasty. Then I picked the Pappy 15, and my last pick was the Boone County 1833 12-year. So you have one... How did you... How did this happen? What? I only have one pick left. Oh, because you picked first. Yeah. So Chad's got two slots left. I have one slot left. So I'll pick once more. It'll go to you, and then I pick last. Oh, okay. You don't want to just choose your two? I and in the snake. Did I chose that was last round? Didn't you? The Boone County or no? Was that this round? When did I choose Boone County, everybody? It's fine. P do what you said. Pick another one. No, I did, and then you picked these two, and those then two. now it's yeah. back to you for okay. your last two, My and then I'll two. pick last because okay. you picked first. Gotcha. Okay. Um, so let me see. Got some Peerless. Yes. I think it's between Peerless and a lot of Cascablanca. Yeah. So the question is, do you want to go with Peerless, which is, you know, roughly the same in proof. Also, uh, wood finished. I mean, they're both wood finished, but we know it did well in the best of last year, but we never put them head to head. Yeah. Or do you want to go with the... Cascablanca, which we've also never put head to head, but has it on a few proof points. It does. So maybe that helps it. I don't know. I. It's your choice. <sighs> Do you want to pull it? I'm I'm going a little safety dance here, and I'm gonna safety palace. Safety palace, <laughs> yes. And I'm gonna go with the peerless double oak. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. It's disappointing. We hate to see it, but <laughs> <laughs> peerless double oak for but we see. But that being 107.1, that could also fall in the around 100. It's not our choice. That's up to Perry. Right, that's up to Perry. He could, he yeah. could do, you know, he could mm -hmm. do some things. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, last pick, For folks. Me. So in summary, I have the 1983 vintage Old Granddad 114. I, thought I chose my last two. Oh yeah, that's right. Go ahead. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I thought you were saying me. I'll summarize mine when it's my turn. Um, so here's what's still on the table. We have Larceny Barrel Proof, C921. We did like that one. We did. Double Oak has gone. Uh, we got the, we got the Maker's Fay, Chattanooga 111, John J. Bowman Single Barrel. We got the Remus Repeal. Um, we have a Dame to Drink For, Nulu. Uh, the Costco Blanca. We have, let's see, that's gone, that's gone, that's gone. Jack Daniels is gone. <laughs> uh, Bardstown's gone. You have the Bardstown Collection Beam. Now the Beam, which is 109 proof, 15 year old Beam. Mm, not a bad choice. Not a bad choice at all. We got two bookers. Uh, I feel like we've put those in here before. Though. Yeah, I think so. So I don't have a problem leaving. Triple that stave out. still on the table? Nope, I took it. Okay. Uh, and that's gone. Christine Ruggleman Reserve. The Pappy Pappy's 15. gone. Mm -hmm. Uh, the Four Gate Kelvin Three, Bakers and Weller One Hundred Seven, or you could pull anything you want. 
from anywhere. Hmm. Yeah. Do that, I'm going to pick. But I feel like this the is William why Rue we Weller that we have Ooh. a bottle of. <laughs> oh. But Nah, I'm not going to do that. Um Did we? No, we put that in last year. I don't want to I we agreed not to pull that. Yeah. I was okay. like, what about that purple William Heaven Hill? <laughs> yeah. Maybe. Uh so we have the 15-year-old Beam. We've got the new Lou Dame to drink for. Uh, let's see. You got another Nulu. We got a Beam. So it looks like it's going a lot. Nulu Beam. Uh, yeah, Todd. The the C nine one seven's gone. I picked that he one. He took that. Um, all right, Chad. It's getting real late. You got a Nulu. I gotta decide <sighs> what I'm gonna do. I don't feel like I've had that that Beam. Enough. That 15 year old beam, enough. I know I, I, that little, little, little soap. I know I liked it, but. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I feel like I'm going to pick. I don't know. Do, okay. I, have, do I have anything that I need to, looking off of your list, since this is my last pick, anything to like combat? Just uh, thinking match-wise, you know? Well, I don't know. Do you have anything that's around 114 proof? Um, yeah. The Boone County is 115. Okay, good. So that can combat my... Mm -hmm. You want that to go up against the OGD 114? I don't know. Maybe. That's not up to me. Um, the 48 Kelvin, you combated that with the... Um, the... Didn't you do a, a finish? Oh, the Labod. Chateau Labod, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Stag Jr., Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. Russell's 13 year. That's actually probably what I would put the Boone County up against. Mm, true. With the age statement. Yep. The Vintage McKenna and the Pappy 15. I did the Jack Daniels Barrel Proof as my out of state. You have the Blackback Alpha series. I did the yeah. Triple Stave. You did the Peerless. No, I did the. Yeah. Yeah. And then I did the Blanton's. So that's 120 proof something. 120, yeah. Man, I really don't feel like, no, what am I going to put against the Frozen's limited so edition? So if I, if I did do a Dame to drink for, that's 119.2. That could maybe go against your Le Maison du Whiskey. That's true. Mm-hmm. You. I think I'm going to do it. Dame to drink for. Some people are asking for polls. Nope, but you chose. He chose a Dame to drink for. Yeah, I already picked it. Our new Sorry. pick from last year. Yep. One of them. Yep. Okay, that's my nine. We're doing nine or ten? Nine. Nine? Okay. And then we'll narrow it. Perry will narrow it down to six. Yeah. Uh, okay, I should have known this whole time what I was going to do, but I didn't think about it that much. Um... You can do a poll if you want. If you want me to so... toss some in. A dame to drink for? I don't. I think we just dis decided all of our stuff was pretty well matched up. Yeah. Can you only put two options in a poll? Um. Oh, you can add an option. Yeah, you can add an option. I think I'm between. What do you want? The. Hmm. Larceny Barrel Proof C921. What's the proof on that? Uh, 122.6. Uh -huh. The Bardstown Collection Beam. Arizona Bardstown Bourbon Company. It's just Bardstown. Mm, close enough. <laughs> Typing Zard. Beam 15 at 109. Um, honestly... I I'm I know that we re I know that we like the Booker's kitchen table at 128 proof. I it's been tried and true and tested. We also like the sip a while a lot too. Mm -hmm. Um, but that's the 2018. Yeah, I think I'm more sip a while than Chad. I think we both really love the kitchen table. That's like a historically good Booker's pick for us. Mm -hmm. So I feel like that I could win him over on. Like, that's a safe pick. So, 
throw my poll up there. Do you want a fourth option? No, I don't think so. No. I think those are my options. I've narrowed it down. Oh, I think you have too many characters in the Booker's one. Just put kitchen. Let's take the 2018-04 off. There we go. Cool. So these are my thoughts for my last spot. These are all very high proofs. Oh boy. Oh if you boy. had picked something else that was around 107, I there was plenty of options on the table for that, but you yeah. didn't, so I don't feel like I should. Well, actually, I did. What? I've got the Peerless Double Oak. It's 107.1. <laughs> but the Bardstown Triple Save is 109. Uh, yeah. And then I've also got the... I've got a couple at 114. So, you know. But I predicted this would happen. Like, let's be honest. We knew. Lock in them votes. Tell me what you want. I don't know what to do. <laughs> Super Beast with a callback with sweet rolls. <laughs> wow. Oh, I haven't thought about sweet, sweet rolls. rolls in a while. Man. How now I'm that... hungry. <laughs> I don't even remember that stuff. I'm going to need to make something. Ye I'm not getting into this again. <laughs> do not bait me into this fight. <laughs> what is wrong with you tonight? Somebody wants to argue. <laughs> oh. Chad says, don't make me choose between Bardstown and uh, Larceny Barrel Proof. I know. These are the tough decisions. Mm -hmm. Strategy-wise, I mean, the Bardstown Collection stuff is untested blind. It's untested. That's we, why I went a little I'm a little maverick I this year. I think it would, I mean, what's what can go it's wrong with a 15-year beam? Mary Pass, you know? Right? What can go wrong with a 15-year beam? But I know that the Larceny Barrel Proof did well in last year, so I'm tempted to take that. But again, that Booker's is a historically just a home run for us. Oh, there's, uh, a, there's a little, a little uh, con, um, contest yeah. mint. Six year overpriced. I mean, hey. Every, well, we're talking about 2018. This it is was some not, 2018 stuff. It was not overpriced then. We, at uh, back, in the, uh, back in those days, I think those bottles were like 50 55 bucks. bucks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so at that time, it was not. Yeah, plus um, they just were better back then too so not we only were they lower way. priced they just were they were stronger uh options you right know? like w this past year in 2021 we didn't put any in our best of for the first time ever because mm -hmm. we just didn't feel like like while they were good we just didn't feel like they held up to the same level as the other contenders so yeah if you've gotten into bookers in the past year or two i, I see what you're talking about but yeah. this 2018 one was like of a different era yeah so all right, a few more seconds here on the poll. If you guys want to lock in your votes, go ahead and do that. I think they've had enough time. Okay, I'm calling it. What do we got? Let's see. Calculating, calculating. Scott Pigsley feels like it, it wouldn't has... be a bourbon bowl without Booker's. I mean, hmm. we usually put something in. Yeah. Okay, wow. Kitchen Table got 41%, Larceny 29%, The Bardstown Beam at 17%, and oh, got 11 <laughs> <laughs> All right, Booker's it is. Okay. 2018-04, Kitchen Table, 128 proof, I do believe. I'm very happy yeah. with my uh, final lineup. It's, I feel like it is a pretty stacked list. It is. You want to read what you got? Sure. I will read what what I got. I got the Old Granddad National Distillers 1983 114 proof, Fourgate Kelvin 2, um, Stag Jr., which is batch 14, Russell's 13 year, a vintage 1994 Henry McKenna, Jack Daniels Barrel Proof, Bardstown Bourbon Company Triple Blended Stave Finish, Blanton's La Maison du Whiskey Pick, and Booker's Kitchen Table. Nice. So proof hounds. Unite. So proof hounds, yeah. Let's see. Uh, of these, uh, I have the Pappy 15 and the Peerless Double Oak from this slide. Uh, I didn't pick any four gate, did I? You did not. Um, I've got the black back, the second to the right there. Um, got. I think I have literally almost all this other ones. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's the only one I have of that one. Then of these, I have the Four Roses in the middle. I have the Boone County. You have the I have the Chateau Labad, Barstown, and the Elijah Craig C917. 
And on this one, I have the Bardstown Bourbon Company Bardstown Collection and the Nulu A Dame to Drink For. Which is the one on, well, the, right. the far, yeah, the end. Yeah. <laughs> Lovely. Boom. Uh, for some people asking how the bourbon bowl works, I would say you can go back and watch last year's episode, but it was two hours long. Um, so we've drafted our picks. We will now have a neutral third party, a.k.a. our referee, a.k.a. Perry, from mm -hmm. This Is My Bourbon Podcast. He will come in on the day of the Bourbon Bowl, which will be the day of Super Bowl. Actually, we usually have that episode in the afternoon uh, instead of in the evening since the Super Bowl's on. Um, so we will ha be at a different time. Mm -hmm. But Perry will come in before that episode. He will look at our lists. From these nine, he will make rounds of six rounds. He will pull from each of our lists to make each round as evenly matched as possible. We will then... Blind to us. Blind, round by round. Chad and I will taste, we don't know, A versus B. We don't know who's A and B are. They'll be mixed up each time, but Perry knows. We will decide which is our favorite one by agreeing on three, two, one, go. <laughs> if there's a tie, Perry will break the tie by tasting and deciding. Uh, we will go through all six rounds. Whoever wins the most rounds wins the bourbon bowl. Yep. And Chad has won... This will be our fourth annual Bourbon Bowl. Chad has won two years. I won last year. When, when you're talking Super Bowl, you got to go Bourbon Bowl 4. Yeah. This, this will be Bourbon Bowl Bourbon Bowl 4. four. <laughs> um, IV. <laughs> IV. Bourbon Bowl yeah. IV. Right? So, can we get Next sponsored? year will be Bourbon Bowl V. Yeah, Bourbon Bowl V. Wow. Jeez. Um, and actually, I was, I was looking today. Um, today's live is our 188th live episode uh that's only counting public ones so if we've gone live for like patreon or any anything that's not found publicly those don't count so 188 live to the public mm. lives. Wow. so we're getting close to 200 lives i know we talked about this last year we talked about doing shirts for the bourbon bowl but we can't really do them because we can't be like team chatter team sarah like winner wise because we would have to print them both or how would you... Yeah. I guess we would have to do pre-orders of just... It would be like, it's Bourbon Night, Bourbon Bowl V, mm -hmm. and have like a design around it. And people would have to pre... Not pre-order, but they would have to sign up because I don't want to order... They wouldn't sell. You know what I right, mean? Right, right. Yeah. We would have to take Pretty a head specific. count on sizes and order yeah. just for the people who or, who submitted a oh, request. Look at this genius. I know I was a bourbon bowl IV brought to you by Liquid IV. We should take a Liquid IV break. Maybe they'll be our sponsor for free. I just want them to send us Liquid IV. That's all I care about. Wow. Oh, anyways. Um, but yeah, so that's what we'll be doing on, I believe it's the 16th. Is that right? No, that's not right. No, the 13th. 13th. Yeah. It's the day before Valentine's Day. Oh, look at that. Yeah. We'll be hungover. How cute. Wayne wants me to re-release The Spirit of Christmas, if I want to sing again. I mean, it's still out there. You can, you can go... Go watch it. I don't want you. I don't. That's a lot. <laughs> you all practiced a lot on that. Yeah, we did. That was fun. We did. We did. Um, but yeah, so maybe we'll ask our Patreon community if, if shirts are a good idea or not. I mean, if people wanted them, I would want to do them. So, mm -hmm. but I don't know if we could do, if there was enough demand, we could do a team chat and a team Sarah. Yeah. I think we have to order like a minimum of 25 shirts. So as long as we had 25 of each, we could do it. I don't know if that's something people want. <laughs> yeah. Um, Let us know. Let us know. Yeah. We'll see. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it'll be fun. This is a good matchup, I think. Perry has a lot of good stuff to choose from. Yeah. So we'll we'll send these to him and um, and notate these could be matched up with these. We'll, you know, we'll make it as easy as we can for him. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, we'll see how it shakes down. It's going to be tough for him to not pick three of these like to right. pick three out yeah to decide from both to of our out. lists mm -hmm. just to do the six rounds yeah Oof. so oh, i hope he doesn't just kick out my vintages because they're vintage because <laughs> there's no, nothing for me to he would. yeah yeah but you made that choice i did yeah i did i did so we'll see we'll see right okay mm -hmm. we'll be back uh at the normal time same bourbon time same bourbon channel oh, next week next sunday is gonna be so fun so we are supposed to have the guys uh from penelope bourbon mm -hmm. on because we are working on a, our own it's bourbon night penelope blend um so we are working on our blend now 
we will probably narrow it down to a few options that we will have on next Sunday's live and we'll talk them with, they'll talk us through the blends and we'll discuss and land on what our, our blend is going to be. And then it'll be bottled. And where can they find those bottles, Chad? Uh, where will they be able to? Patreon.com is where you get... Slash Asperbonite. Slash Asperbonite. Yes. Is where you get access to all of our barrel picks. Mm -hmm. Like the Nulu, the famous Nulu Noir, a uh, name to drink for. Our Knob Creek Three Amigos pick, which just sold out. Yep. Um, all, all that. That's a lot fast. All those can be found at, uh, yeah, Patreon.com slash Asperbonite. Uh, whisk again, WhiskeyAmbitions.com for our official flip. <laughs> challenge coin that we use. Yes, uh, the official coin of the bourbon bowl. <laughs> yep. T-shirts, hats, Glen Cairns. Not, not this one, but other ones. Yeah. All that there. And on your way out, if you guys wouldn't care, just to to hit a hit that thumbs up. Thanks for uh, staying in some overtime with yeah. us. We've been doing a couple overtimes on it these non-drinking ones, which is strange to me, but I'm Crazy. glad. Crazy. Yeah. All right. I think uh, that'll wrap it up. Yep. There we go. Thanks, Scott Pigsley, for dropping those links. Yes, we appreciate that, as always. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next Sunday. Till then, drink more bourbon. Bye-bye.